Hi guys, welcome back to Beautifully Bookish Bethany where I have new videos every week about books and the geeky mom lifestyle. Subscribe for more bookish videos and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I release a new video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the longest books on my physical TBR. So this video was suggested by one of my patrons and I thought this might be kind of fun to do. So I scoured my shelves and I think found all the books that I own that are 600 pages or more and there ended up being nine of them which seemed about perfect for a video. So I'm going to show you the nine longest books on my physical TBR in order of length. So I'm going to start with the shortest of these long books and end with the longest of these long books. And like I said, these are all over 600 pages. The first book on this list is Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks. I still have not gotten around to reading this, but I wanted to buy it to support Elliot. She's a booktuber and author tuber. Some of you guys probably follow her. And this was her debut indie self-published epic fantasy. And um, probably part of why I have not read it yet is it is a tome. <laughs> And in case you're wondering, this book is 714 pages long. I think this is kind of funny. I don't think I really have 600 page books. I have like 500 something page books and then we jump to 700. So this is the shortest long book on my physical TBR and uh, one that, I, that I'm now like, oh yeah, I really should read this. So maybe if I at some point I could do like a challenge where I try to read some of the longest books on my TBR. Next up is a book that I got for free at New York City Comic Con last year. This is A Plague of Giants by Kevin Hearn. It's another epic fantasy and I think you're gonna see not all but a, like quite a few of these really long books are epic fantasies. I've heard mixed things about this but it does sound like it could be interesting. It is a fantasy series with shape-shifting bards, fire-wielding giants, and children who can speak to astonishing beasts. So despite the kind of mixed reviews on this I am interested in maybe giving this a try at some point point. and this one is 724 pages long. The next longest book is one that I picked up because I just was intrigued by the cover and the description. This is a used book that I picked up a while back for like a couple of dollars and I just thought it sounded really interesting. Interesting. This is Through a Glass Darkly by Carleen Cohen and um, I kind of love the art even though this is like sort of beat up but I thought this was super interesting. It's um, yeah it was two dollars at the Strand. This was a debut novel. It says it's a grand scale multi-layered love story that transports the reader into the rich world of the 18th century. It's about like love and betrayal and excess and I, like this kind of thing appeals to me it seems fun so it's sort of like a historical epic romance type thing and when was this published i don't even know let me see okay interesting and this was published in 1986 so a year before i was born and it is very very long as you can see this one is in fact 743 pages long so I don't actually know anything about it I was just intrigued by the cover and the topic and so I picked it up and I should see if I can get this on audio um that, oh, I'm gonna look into that interesting the next longest book on my physical TBR is Dark Age by Pierce Brown this is the latest book in the Red Rising saga and I actually have a signed copy of this. I went to a signing an event in New York when it launched which was pretty cool. I've met Pierce twice now and he is just so good at talking. He, I, I actually have a couple of vlogs, maybe I'll link the one from this up above, the Dark Age vlog. He's so funny and interesting and speaks so smoothly. He's one of the best author speakers I think I've heard before. However, I have not yet read Iron Gold nor Dark Age, so I need to read Iron Gold first. And I think Iron Gold is like almost 600 pages long, and then this one is much longer. Yes, this one is 757 pages long. So these are tomes, but I really loved the first three books in the Red Rising series. These are adult sci-fi, but they're pretty character driven and have a lot of political intrigue in them, and I just really really love them. I think the ideas are really interesting and they kind of draw on ancient Rome but set on Mars and other planets. So yeah, Dark Age by Pierce Brown. And the next longest book on my physical TBR is a classic novel. This is Middlemarch by George Eliot and I have this nice classic Barnes & Noble classic edition. I think I picked this up secondhand as well. 
I really want to read this. I think I saw the miniseries a long time ago and I've seen other miniseries based on works by George Eliot and she originally was writing under George Eliot and people thought she was a man. A lot of women did this back in the Victorian era but she was not. And um, I think the themes that she deals with are really interesting. I have a feeling I would really like this. This is very much up my alley in terms of classics but you can see how long it is. And because of that, partly, I have not gotten around to it. But it's another one that I do really want to read. And if you're wondering exactly how long this is, it is 799 pages long. So we're about to get into the 800s here. Uh, I keep getting longer and longer. The next longest book on my TBR is one that I bought on Book Outlet last year for a reading challenge that I planned to do and then never got around to actually doing, which happens <laughs> periodically. This is a book that sounds interesting, but again, I haven't picked it up, probably because it is such a tome. And this is The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. So I think this is kind of like a literary historical fiction. It won the Man Booker Prize, so it's probably, I would say, literary fiction. But it's set in New Zealand in 1866 during the New Zealand Gold Rush, which is interesting. And it says that it's at once a fiendishly clever ghost story, a gripping page turner, and a reinvention of the lore and power of the Zodiac. So yeah, this just sounded super interesting to me, and it does, I'm still interested in reading it, but again, you see, I often will put off these very long books, and this one is 808 pages long. <laughs> so there you go, Man Booker Prize winner. Um, another one I do want to read, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So maybe this would be a video, reading some of the longest books on my TBR. All right, three more to go. The next one is kind of infamous. People like love this or hate this or kind of fall in between, but I see people with such strong feelings about either this or the show based on it. And I have not seen the show or read the book. This is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Um, time traveling into Scotland with an epic romance that has questionable consent, apparently. Yeah, I am interested. I want to give this a try. I don't know if I'll like it or if I'll hate it, but I want to try it. It's like a phenomenon. And this book is 850 pages long. Um, yeah, I have a used paperback copy on my shelves, so one day uh, I know I have even some of my patrons who really want to see me read this, so maybe, maybe this will come. We'll see. The next longest book is actually on my current TBR. As I'm filming this, I am planning to be reading the first third of this and then finish it next month, but since I haven't read it yet or even started it, it's going in this video. This is 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami, and this is technically a bind up of three books in one, but it's like one overarching story, and it is translated, I think, from Japanese. And I've heard really amazing things about it, that it's very intense and weird, but good. It says, a love story, a mystery, a fantasy, a novel of self-discovery, a dystopia to rival George Orwell's. 1Q84 is a tremendous feat of imagination from one of our most revered contemporary writers. So I don't really know exactly what it's about, but based on things that people have said about it, I feel like I'm probably gonna like it. So I'm very interested to try it. And if you're wondering how long it is, it is 1156 pages long. That is a long, long book, but I have one on my TBR that is even longer. What is it? It is another very controversial book. <laughs> Again, you have the serious fanboys who just love this, and then you have people who are do not like this at all. I do have a copy though. This is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Um, so I have actually read a decent amount from Brandon Sanderson, and I like a lot of his writing. I don't always love it, but I often enjoy it. So I am interested in trying this at some point, even though I know people have very passionately mixed feelings about it. Book one in the Stormlight Archive, and it is very long. Um, and I know that's one of the complaints some people have, is that it's much longer than maybe it needs to be, but... This book is 1,258 pages long. Damn, that is a long boy right there. Um, so yeah, 
1,258 pages long. This is the longest book on my physical TBR. There you go. Feel free to comment below if you have any thoughts on the books, if I should do something with these, if you've read any of them, have feelings about them, feel free to comment down below. And for your question of the day, let me know what is the longest book on your TBR? And this could be physical TBR, it could be your Goodreads TBR, but I'm curious to know what is the longest book on your TBR? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.